hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Eno so in today's video we'll be looking at creating and managing groups in uh, Linux right now I'm logged into a Kali Linux machine and I have the terminal open so the first thing we'll talk about is why we need groups or why we have uh, users and groups in Linux so the, the main reason why you have these groups and uh, user accounts is for the purpose of uh, security now we have a lot of processes that that are running on a system and in order to limit what kind of access these uh, processes and uh, users have we use uh, groups and user accounts for that so for instance I have a command that I'm gonna run to show you just uh, the number of processes that are running so the command is ps aux and then a pipe to less and as you can see there's quite a few processes that are running and the the owners different owners like here you see root and then you see the user you know for the different processes now in order for us to see the different accounts that are on the system we can run a command called cat this is just going to show us the file that contains all the different user accounts on the uh, system and there's quite a few down here at the bottom you have the user eno this is the user id and then the group id this space was initially used for the password but the password is no longer stored in this file right here you see the home directory and then you see bin bash that represents the shell that's open when this user is using the system then you see there is other user accounts for for example for this process system d dash codam and then many others if you can scroll up you see there's quite a few uh, accounts for the different processes even for sshd it's got its account with the user id group id uh, the home directory and uh, the shell as well now moving on we'll look at how to create a new uh, group and also how to change permissions and even how to add a user to a, a given group so first of all what we can do is we can check what different groups the user you know is a member of you can use the command id and then the name of the user and as you can see here you have the user id which is uh, 1001 the group id is uh, by default it's the same as the uh, user id and this these are the two groups that the user Eno is a member of, Eno and then sudo. Now, when you add a new user, by default, they'll get a group ID and a user ID with the same name. So that's the default. But if you're looking to add new groups or you need to add membership of a, a user, there is a command to do that. So we'll create a new group here and then we'll add the user Eno to that new group. So let's say, for instance, we want to add a group called IT. We'll uh, use the command, uh, say sudo group add, and we'll call it IT. And now we should have a group called IT. To check uh, the group, there is a file we can check as well. Under etc folder, there is a file called group. This shows us all the different uh, groups we have, group accounts. So the new one we created IT is right here. And then there's also a group Eno, you know, just as the uh, as we saw for the user accounts. Now that we have that group, as you can see, there's no membership for that group right now. But we can add the user Eno to this group, and you, sh you should see that show up here. The command to use is say sudo uh, user mode. Then you want to use dash a and g for the group, and then the group is it. Then I will say the user we are adding. And if we run the command we ran earlier, you should see here that you know is now a member of the group it. Now there's something to watch out when you're adding users to a group when you add, you're adding users to the supplementary group because a user has a primary group and then a supplementary so one thing to watch out for when you're adding a, a user to a secondary group is to make sure you, you're using the dash a so we can actually use the help here command to see the different options you have dash uppercase g for the supplementary groups it just lists the supplementary groups and then there's the dash a for appending so you want to make sure you're appending a user to a supplementary group. If you don't use dash a, they'll get removed from all the other groups. So to demonstrate that, what we'll do is I'll create a new group, sudo no group add, let's say cells. And if I try to now say sudo user mode dash t, and I don't use uh, dash a, and then I say cells, you know to add you know to cells 
you see that Eno is no longer a member of the, the, the IT group. He's only a member of sales and he's no longer a member of IT group. So you have to use the dash A to avoid removing a user from the other groups, secondary groups. Now, the other thing to talk about is files and directories. So for instance, let's create a new file here. Let's check what files we have. We have file one. So here we have file and file three. We'll create with the touch commands, we'll create a test file. The test file here has got the the owner of the file is in on the, the group owner account is in on. So right here, this dash is gonna tell us that this is a, a file, not a directory. This one's with the dear directories. The first three uh, represent the permissions for the user, you know, and then the next three will be for the group, you know, then the last three for others. Now, since the user, you know, created this file, that's why the user and group, you know, are the uh, owners. However, we can make changes. We can change the group owner as well as the user owner for that test file. To do that, we'll use sudo chown. Then we'll say we want to make Kali uh, the owner of this file, test file. And if we list that, we should see that the owner here, user owner changed for this file. We can go ahead and uh, change group ownership. The command is going to be different. It's going to be chgrp for group, change group. And we'll say Kali again for test file. And now both these have changed to Kali. There is a one line command we can use to change both uh, the user and the, the group owner for a file. Let's say for instance, we wanna change this file three to uh, Kali Kali as the user and the group owner. We can say sudo ch on, and then we'll put Kali for the user owner and then Kali again for the group owner and then we'll say uh, file three is the up arrow and list this as you can see here it has changed to Kali Kali so that's pretty much it one last command would be out to delete let's say you have a, a group you want to delete you can delete that using group delete command so it's going to be sudo group delete i can delete it and if we do um cut group and scroll all the way down you'll see now that the it group has been deleted so that's uh, some of the few commands you can use when you're working with the uh, groups and uh, group accounts and user accounts. I hope this information has been useful. I'll see you on my next video. Thanks, bye.